Okay guys, so we kick things off with toe squats, also known as sissy squats. So we're gonna be standing on the toes the whole time, keep the heels way off the ground. We're gonna slowly descend, try to keep the bum directly over top of the heels, keeping upright in the torso as we go up and down. Lots of control here. Here we go. So down nice and slow and controlled, straight back up. Over time, as you get better at these, we're trying to lean the hips forward and not bend from the hips. But for now, let's just go straight up and down as we do our warm up circuit. Nicely done. Nice and upright. This is for the thighs. You're gonna feel the quad muscles working. Try not to put the heels down the entire time. Staying perfectly upright. You can put the arms out in front as a counterbalance if you need it, but stay nice and upright. If you do have troubles with the balance, you can wedge something under your heels for these. We're almost done here. All right, so we've got basic push-ups next. So we're gonna be in a push-up position. Make sure the shoulders stay stacked over the wrists. And as you descend down into the push-up, try to keep the elbows within about 30 degrees of the body. So nice and close. We're gonna go down slow to a three count, as low as you can. Here we go, down three, two, one, and up with speed. Three, two, one, up with speed. Three, two, one, up with speed. Keep the body nice and straight. If you can't do full push-ups, just three, two, one, place the knees back down and up you go. Let's get it. Three, two, one. Keep that tempo nice and slow. Keep it controlled. Quality over quantity. All right, we got Cossack squats next. So bring the legs nice and wide. A good starting point is to have the ankles as wide as the wrists. And from here, we're gonna squat down to one side, keep one leg straight all the way down low as you can, come up through the middle and go to the other side. We're gonna alternate sides. So let's begin. Down nice and slow and controlled, as low as you can get. Try to keep the torso upright, chest facing forward. Try to make sure the one leg stays completely straight. All right, we're gonna finish off this round one of the circuit with a reverse plank. So have a seat on the floor, fingers face forward. So our level one for this is to have the knees bent and lift the hips. And our level two is to have the legs straight. We're simply gonna hold the top position for 40 seconds. Here we go. Try to open up through the chest, squeeze the shoulders together, keep the hips as high as you can, feel the upper back muscles working, the front of the arms stretching. Stay stable, halfway. Almost there. Hold on tight. And that's time. All right, we get to do it all over again. So we got toe squats to start. Keeping the torsos nice and straight up and down. Descend nice and slow under full control the whole time. Almost there. Round two, here we go. Two, one, and let's get it. Nice and controlled and slow. And up we go. Slowly and up. Balance is your issue, issue. Just stick something under your heels. Almost there. Nice and controlled the whole time. Keep the torso upright. Try to keep the heels off the floor. Should be burning now.
All right, basic push-ups. Let's get ready for it. Keep the elbows in close to the body. Try to keep the forearms vertical the whole time so that your shoulders are going in front of your hands and the elbows are not coming out to the side. Here we go. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, up. Nice and controlled. Three, two, one, up. Keep it going. Three, two, one, up. Two, one, up. We're halfway through. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Almost there. All right. Cossack squats next. So wide stance. One leg stays straight. We descend down to one side. Let's get ready. Getting out of breath here. Things are fun. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. And down we go. Keep the chest nice and upright. Torso facing forward. Descend as low as you can without leaning forward and without lifting the heel of the bent leg. Try to keep that flat on the floor. Now we go, you put the arms out in front as a counterbalance to help you get further in. Nice and controlled. Quality over quantity. That's our motto. We want perfection or your perfection in every damn rep. All right, and our reverse plank to finish. Get the hips nice and high. These are very tough. You got this. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's get ready. Two, one, and here we go. Nice and high we go. Press the shoulders together. Open up those shoulders. Get the shoulder stretch. Upper back muscles and triceps working. Lower back and hamstrings are working. Hold high. Halfway, guys. Let's go. Let's go, everyone. You got it. You can lift your hips a little bit higher for these last 10 seconds here. Enjoy that burn. Then we got a bit of a rest before we go to round two. Two, one. Awesome stuff. All right, we got a minute break. Take a second, hit the like button. Maybe hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Whew. Next up, we got another four exercises that we're gonna repeat twice through. We got sloth climbers, fantastic core and hip flexor exercise. We're gonna be doing some shrimp squats. And then we've got plank walkouts. So we're walking with the feet from a plank position, trying to spread nice and wide to what's known as a Superman plank in and out. Really tough on the core. Awesome stuff for getting good and strong. We get going just a moment here. So we'll be set up in a push up position for the sloth climbers. And we're not gonna touch the foot down. So once we're here, we're gonna lift one foot and bring it as close to beside the hand as you can and back. Hover, don't put the foot down at all and just hover. It's okay if you're here, just go with your range. These are tough, let's go. Slow, controlled, hover and back. Slow, controlled, hover and back. Keep it going guys. These are brutal. Amazing for your oblique and hip flexor strength as well as your shoulder strength. These are fantastic. Hella tough though. Try to hover for one to two seconds. Effort is what counts. Even if you can't get as far as you're seeing here. Let's go one more. Awesome. All right, so we've got some shrimp squats. So we're gonna stand on the left foot and hold the right foot behind the back like so. The other arm can come out in front as a counterbalance. And our goal is to try to get this knee to touch the floor or get as close as you can. So it's gonna look like so, down as far as you can. 
Let's get it. So nice and controlled. Down, touch if you can, and back up. Nice and controlled. Stay as upright as you're able to. A little bit of a forward lean is okay. Nice and controlled. So very tough. It's okay if you're up here. Just do what you can do. Your range of motion will improve over time. I couldn't always do these all the way down. In fact, sometimes I still can't, but they're awesome for single leg strength. And just after this, we'll do the other side. Whoa. There is a balance component, part of what makes these awesome. All right, that's time. Okay, other side, got a quick break. We get to do the same thing on the other side this time. Standing on the right foot, holding the left leg, squat down nice and slow. Here we go. Standing on the right foot, hold the left foot. Right arm can go out in front as a counterbalance, as far as you can go, and up. Can help sometimes to put a target under your knee, so you know how far you can go. And up, nice and controlled. Really feel the quad and butt working on that right leg. Challenging both the flexibility and the strength here. These are incredibly tough. Develop really good athletic strength though. All right, we've got our plank walkouts next. So we're gonna bring ourselves to a normal plank position on the elbows with the hands interlaced. And then we're gonna walk the feet back as far as you can, keeping the core nice and tight, and then back in without letting the hip sag. Here we go. Walk it out, keep the core tight, walk it in. Try not to let the hip sag, nice and slow. Feeling the core, the lats, hip flexors. Go as far as you can go. Almost there, guys. All right. And we get to do it all over again. Starting with our sloth climber. So push up position. We're gonna bring one foot right beside the hand alternating sides. Make sure you're hovering just a moment above the floor. Count one steamboat. So hold one steamboat and then switch. Here we go. Hold and back. So up you go. One steamboat and back. Keep on that. Be honest in your effort. It would be better for you to take breaks and do the reps with full effort then to half-ass them, you get a lot more out of your training that way. <sighs> 10 more seconds here. It's going to be burning. Almost there. Last one. All right. It's time for shrimps. Standing on the left leg, hold the right foot. Squat down as low as you can. Ooh, getting out of breath here. Getting a little sweaty. Oh, love this stuff. All right, let's get ready. Holding the right foot, squatting on the left. As low as we can get with control. That control. One more. All right, we're gonna switch sides. We got right leg, hold the left foot. Let's get ready. Three, two, 
one and here we go that's it nice and controlled keep that balance as we go up and down nice and stable feel the thigh and the glute working as we go up and down you got it guys Ten more seconds. Almost there. All right, that's time. We finish this round with the plank walkouts. We get to move on to our last and final round here. All right, plank walkouts. So from the elbows, walk as far as you possibly can. Back. Try to get us keep the body as straight as you can. No hip sagging. All right, let's get it. One last minute to recover before we move on to our final round. We've got natural leg extensions, wide shoulder raises from a child's pose, some glute bridges, single leg glute bridges, and we got a bear hold to finish. Harder than it looks, that's for sure. So far, so good. When your goal is to develop strength, you want to make sure you're resting enough time between sets. That's why we're alternating through four things. So by the time we finish our three other exercises, we've rested enough for whatever muscle we started with. So if we're doing the natural leg extensions, we're working the quads, we're going to rest quite a bit. So natural leg extensions, we're going to come up onto a tall kneeling position, squeeze the bum, arms can go out in front and lean back as far as you can and back up, keeping a straight line with the body. Try not to break at the hips. Let's get it nice and straight. Down we go and up. We got lots of reps here, so take your time with it. Nice and slow. Here we go. Challenge yourself to go as low as you can. 20 seconds remaining, halfway. Almost there. Last one. All right, we're gonna sit down into a child's pose with the forehead down on the mat. And then we're gonna lift the arms up into a Y. So push your arms out of the socket and up and hold for a two count. So be like so, child's pose, get the forehead on the floor, arms up. And here we go, push out of the socket and up for one, two, and down. Feeling the upper back muscles and shoulders working. Keep going, guys. Almost there. All right. So we're going to flip over to the back. Bring yourselves up into a hip bridge. So your hips are going to stay off the floor the whole time. Keep the hips nice and tall. And then we're going to alternate. Try not to let the hips rock here. Let's so keep the arms up. And we're just going to alternate lifting one leg off the floor at a time. Up we go. Try to rock side to side as little as you can as you lift the leg up into the air. Really stay stable, core tight. There's gonna be some rocking, but fight it. As you lift your right foot 
Press that right shoulder into the floor. As you lift the left foot, press the left shoulder into the floor. It's really tough with the arms up. You can bring the arms at the side to make it a bit easier, but really challenge yourself here. We finish off with a bear pose hold. So we're gonna come to hands and knees, wrists below the shoulders, knees below the hips. And we're simply just gonna lift the knees and hover off the floor and hold that position for 40 seconds. Here we go. And hold, keep all of your weight or most of your weight in your hands and nice and tall on the armpits. You should feel the shoulders working muscles in the armpits working, thighs working, core working. Stay nice and stable. We're halfway already, just like that. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Tall through the armpits. Last 10 seconds. Hold on. All right, we get to go for round two with those natural leg extensions. So come up to a tall kneeling, squeeze the bum, and we're leaning back as far as you can. You can put the arms out in front as a counter bounce. Let's get ready. Three, two, one, and here we go. As far as you can, and up. Keep those glutes tight. We got this. I know these suck, but almost there. We've just got a few more reps here. One more. All right. We got those child pose. Y raises. So sit down into the child's pose. Bring your knees wider if you need to, whatever's gonna allow you to get your forehead on the floor. And then once we're there, we're lifting the arms up into a Y. Reach forward and up. Here we go. Forward, up into a Y and hold. That's it. Feel the middle of the back working. Glute bridges, so lying down on the back. We're gonna lift the hips up to the bridge position and try to hold them up in this position, nice and high. And as we lift one leg, try not to wobble too much. So as we lift, let's get ready. As we lift the left leg, press the left shoulder into the floor to stay as stable as you can. Try not to rotate. You are gonna rotate a bit, but try your best to minimize it. Nice and stable. Control is the key here. We're not just throwing the leg up willy-nilly. Keep it under control the whole time. That's where the progress happens with this. Tight and stable. That's time and we get to finish off with one final magnificent bear hold. So hands and knees, knees below the hips, hands below the shoulders. I'm sweating. I don't know about you guys, but I am sweating. This is lovely. So last one, let's make a count. Hold right to the end, no matter what. Here we go. No quit. No quit. Let's go. I know it's going to hurt the whole way. It's going to be brutal the whole way, but you can withstand just 30 more seconds of discomfort. Think of the end of this 30 seconds, 
how you're gonna feel knowing that you gave it your absolute all. You do that every single workout, see what kind of change you can make in just a sh short year. 10 more seconds here, guys, just no quit. Hold on. Let's get it. Just like that, it's all over. Amazing work today, guys. Thanks so much for joining. If you like what we did today, hit that like button, helps us out to get this out to people that are looking for the same stuff. Hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Until the end of 2023, we're only posting one video a week, but stay tuned for January. We'll be posting one video every day, 31 day mobility jumpstart. Can't wait to see you there. See you guys in the next one.